hockey stick identity explanation. Um, so we're doing something like uh, I'm trying to get this. Um, Okay, let's say we're going to pick um, uh, <clears throat> we want to pick um, we're going to pick uh, one, two, three people uh -huh. from um, so we're going to do n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals 5, n equals 6. We're picking um, three people from six people. Uh-huh. Okay? Um, <clears throat> and basically, uh, so we're in this spot, and we're picking uh, three people from six people. Okay. Right? And... <coughs> I want to, again, use the analogy of um, people, no, people arriving at a meeting. Okay. Okay? And the question is, um, how many ways, uh, so let me, let me phrase this. Um, let's say that I want to break down my choices of three people according to when I pick the third person. Okay. Okay? So I can either pick the third person after I've chosen, you know, I can pick the third person to be the sixth person that arrives at the meeting, the fifth person, fourth. the fourth, the third, but that's it, right? I can't, I can't pick the third person to be the second person or the first. that arrives at the meeting. Because they're already right? there. And so, um, how many ways can I have uh, the third person at the third person that I select for my committee to be the sixth person that arrives at the meeting? Once. Well, I have to have picked uh, two people from among the first five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? And how many ways do I pick the fifth person to be uh, the third person to be a member of the committee? Well, I have to have picked exactly two people from the first four. Mm -hmm. Right? And so on. <clears throat> okay. You see what I'm saying? But that doesn't explain the one with the one. What do you mean the one with the one? This one, oops, this one just make like... Be careful, so touch, touch this thing. Okay. There you go, see what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, uh, what we're doing is we are adding up this hockey stick. But we didn't account for that, this hmm? point. We didn't account for that point. We did account for this point, and the way we did it was we did 2 choose 2, plus 3 choose 2, plus 4 choose 2, plus 5 choose 2. And we add up all four of these to get six choose three. Okay. And the way we're breaking six choose three down is we're saying, okay, sometimes I pick the sixth person to be the third member of my committee. Sometimes I pick the fifth. Sometimes I pick the fourth. Sometimes I pick the third. Right? But you never pick the first or second? I can't pick the first or second to be the third member of my committee. Because there are any members? No, because how, how can I pick... All right, so think about it this way. Oh, because we need three people. Right, I need three people in the committee. So the second person that arrives to the meeting, how can I make them the third member of my committee? I can't, right? So the, the whole yoga of, of what I'm trying to get across is that we're breaking down the choice of three members for a committee into those times when I choose the third member. Okay. Right? And I can either choose the third member um, after... I can either choose the third member uh, when the sixth person shows up, when the fifth person shows up, when the fourth person shows up, or the third person shows up. Okay. In order to choose 
the third member as exactly the sixth person who shows up, I have to have already chosen two out of five. Okay. And I have to have chosen exactly two out of five. Exactly. Right? Okay. If I've already chosen three out of five, that would correspond to this, this situation. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, so again, the, the hockey stick identity is best explained, or not best explained. It can be explained by saying, all right, we're picking three people out of six people. Um, let's see, uh, how can we break down that third choice okay. into after five people have arrived, four people have arrived, three people have arrived, and two people have arrived. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're unsure. Yes. You are unsure. Um, maybe we can... So, like... <clears throat> let's think about... Um, when can we pick... The third person? Right? Um, the answer is after <laughs> we've picked <laughs> two people. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and let's say we pick the third person. Um, after we pick two people, we can then pick the third person, and let's say that the um, third person is dot, 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 um, Somebody. the third to arrive at the meeting? The fourth to arrive at the meeting? Or the right. Fifth, or the, the fourth, fifth. the fifth, and the sixth. Right? The third to arrive at the meeting, the fourth to arrive at the meeting, the fifth to arrive at the meeting, the sixth to arrive at the meeting. Right? And that means that uh, in order to have picked two people already, right, um... Sorry. When, the th when we pick the third person, we have to have picked two people. Do you see what I mean? Okay, so that means that uh, if I'm using the fourth person to arrive at the meeting as my third person in the committee then I have to have already picked two of the first people, first three people to arrive. Okay. And if I'm going to use the fifth person to arrive at the meeting as the third person in my committee, then I have to have already picked two people of the first four. Okay. Are you following now? Yes. Okay. So in order to choose exactly the sixth person as my third person in the committee, mm -hmm. right, I have to have chosen exactly two people of the first five. Okay. Okay. Um, and in order to choose exactly the third person mm -hmm. as my uh, second member of the committee, yes. uh, exactly the third person as the third member of the committee, I have to have chosen exactly two people as the first two members okay. of the committee. Okay. Okay? Um, all right. So let's hit pause on this. Okay. And you can go back through and listen to it. I will.